Hi again, it's Erica. I'm just here to speak with you a little bit about some of the changes our residents has made since COVID-19 has affected us. We want to make sure that our operations this fall are as safe as possible for you and our staff community. So we're going to take a couple minutes to talk about COVID-19 safety measures, precautions, and some of the things you can do to promote your own safety while traveling through the residence. So first you'll notice, I'm going to do this, that most of our staff team are going to be wearing a face covering just like this one with the resident staff embroidery on the front. Wearing a mask is really encouraged when you're traveling through any common area in the residence to help ensure safety uh, of both staff and students in our community. When you're in your own areas like your bedroom or your suite, you can make the choice to wear a face covering or face mask if you choose. But when you're traveling through the elevators, hallways, front areas, entering and exiting the building, we do ask that you wear a face mask as often as possible. So we're gonna head inside now so I can show you a few other adjustments we've made throughout our residence lobby, our elevator and common area spaces. So let's go. So the first thing you're going to notice is that we've designated an entry doorway to make sure that all traffic is flowing in one direction in and out. What you're going to notice is we have a passive screening sign here. We ask that you stop, read the screening, and if you have experienced any of these symptoms, you let us know before you enter the residence have another door marked entry only, we ask that you use this door when coming in each and every single time. Once you've made it into the residence, we immediately have a hand sanitizer station here with directions on how to safely hand rub. So each time you enter, use some sanitizer to clean your hands before coming through. So once you head in through the residence, you'll see that we've marked out which way for flow of traffic. So when you're heading in, come this way. You'll also notice we have floor physical distancing markers. Please pay attention to them when you travel through the residence lobby in order to promote physical distancing at all times. So throughout your time with us, you're probably going to have questions or need some help. That's what our front desk is for. When you need to ask somebody for help or clarification, we just ask that you stand on one of these physical distancing markers to ensure your safety and staff safety. When interacting with the front desk staff, you'll notice we have plexiglass dividers up along the whole front desk. Please make sure that you're standing away from the plexiglass dividers, but still speaking to our staff for any questions, concerns, or support that you might have. To promote physical distancing, you can always pick up your mail packages or food delivery over here at the marked area. Now we're gonna head into the residence. So when possible, feel free to tap on an automatic door opener to reduce the amount of touching on common surface areas. Through here, you'll also notice that we've designated one-way arrows to help with flow of traffic and designated waiting areas for when you're waiting to ride the elevator. When it's your turn to travel through the elevator, head up to your room. The call button for the elevator is just right here and another hand sanitizer here. Feel free to use them as much as you want. When you're in the elevator, we ask that you stand on one of our physical distancing markers. This way we can ensure all riders are maintaining proper physical distancing while taking the elevator to their floor. Now every time you come and go through the residence from your floor down to the lobby in and out of the residence, you'll notice that you have a hand sanitizer on the floor you're, you're living on, as well as educational posters about COVID-19 and safety precautions. A few other changes to know before coming into the residence is that we've removed guest privileges for the foreseeable future. We look forward to the time when it is possible to reinstate guest privileges and we'll be sure to let you know as soon as possible. You'll also notice throughout the building, we've closed off some of our common lounges and 
alternate laundry facilities in order to promote physical distancing everywhere through the building. We ask that you do your part to abide by these posters, closed signs, and measures in order to promote physical distancing and safety at this time. We look forward to your arrival over the next few weeks. And just remember, we're all in this together. 